Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how you can add reviews to your website within the SERP uh, results of any search engine thanks to Matomo Tag Manager. So let's get started. Okay, uh, so basically what we're going to talk about today is what you can see up here, right? How you can make this visible for uh, your website. The techniques that we are going to use is probably the worst of all because it's going to add a script through a specific uh, tool which is Matomo Tag Manager and it will probably be uh, the worst way because uh, Google doesn't like that kind of thing. I mean, Google expects to find this kind of information straight away on the page with specific attributes. But in some specific cases, you don't have the end on the website, right? And you need to find a way of how you can add this given information without an access to the source code of the website. And that's what I'm going to show you today, thanks to Matomo Tag Manager. So, First of all, how is it possible to put uh, information within uh, here? This is what we call, um, let's say, the, the rich snippet. And those are data which are structured in a way that it makes it easy for search engine to easily read those information, recognize, for example, here that it is a review and put it within the search. So in order to do so, most of the time what search engine are doing, they are reading what schema.org is saying in terms of structure. So schema.org is a website which is explaining how you need to structure your web page in order to make a search engine or other tools recognize the different elements that you have on your page. And it's a full dictionary showing you what are the different elements that you need to uh, go through and what are the given uh, value which are expected. And the most important part of this website is on each time when you go down the page here, you get in fact the different example of how you need to structure uh, your website either if you go for micro data so that's probably the best way to integrate uh, the um, let's say the, the data on your website the structured data on your uh, website the rdf uh, possibility and the one that we're going to see is the json ld so that's the possibility to add a script and within this script you are then uh, constructing your uh, data fit so the website example i will use is the one of the following association so it's a non-profit organization and on this given page as you can see if you go down the page you get some comments over here right um, those comments do not have any rating so i'm going to create some fake one expecting that this given statement means that it's a five stars and so on and so forth so here, as you can see, I have five comments which are published. I have the name of the author, I have the comment that he made, and I have as well the date at which the comment has been made, and so on and so forth. So this page in the first sight does not look like uh, reviews, but it is if I consider, as I just mentioned, that this is a five star. So in order to make it possible, what I will do is that I will go on schema.org and I will find um, the let's say corresponding information to um, a review and then I will copy and paste it uh, within uh, my tag it Matomo so just to uh, show you how does it look like uh, it looks like this so here I have my my script for the first review that I created so that's probably not the best way because as you can see I'm opening a new script every time that I'm adding a review so probably if you have some developer on board they will be able to make just one script out of all the reviews but in my case I just constructed this way right so you have your script uh, which is a JSON LD and then you mentioned the context so what is the source of information so schema.org what is the kind of information that you would like to uh, put in my case what is the type is the review uh, what is the item reviewed so in my case this is uh, a thing and this is uh, uh, a training uh, the name of the person who leave the comment is named Antoine the published date is this one review rating is it's a rating and that's the name and that's the rating value um, so of course it may talk to you like Greek but this review I just went on uh, schema.org and I just look for review right it's just good uh, go over here and I just put review like this and then it was telling me oh by the way we have the possibility to uh, show review and then I went back up here and then I click on JSON LD and here I got in fact the structure so I just needed in fact to fill in the different data with it and in order to ensure 
that the data are working correctly, you have some different test tools, such as this one provided by, so in my case, that's Google, and where you can actually double check that it's working, right? And if no error are happening, then it's, uh, it's good, right? So if I would have put a mistake over here, I would have received the information that it's wrong. So once this data feed is made, and in fact, the most difficult thing is just to list what are the different data that you have on your page that you would like to list. And after you can just copy and paste. So in my case here, as you can see, it's telling me, okay, the reviews are fine, but there is an additional thing which is not that great, which is uh, another uh, rich data that I added, which is aggregated rating. And it's telling me, okay, it's not good because the type cannot be a thing. So what is say? Okay, we do not recognize the aggregating rating for the object type things. And what I did is I looked at the documentation online about aggregated rating and looking at what are the different types that they are expecting. In my case, actually a service would be fine because that's exactly what the uh, association is doing a service by an organization, delivery service, print services, and blah, blah, blah. So in my case, I just needed to change this information over here, which is saying into service. Okay, so this micro data is saying, okay, there's five reviews on the website and the global uh, rating value is five. And here, as you can see, now it's working all fine. So now I know that my JSON script is fine. So I can just copy and paste it over here. So this is what I did. And then I can just say to Matomo Tag Major, okay, just fire it as a trigger on this given page. And now if I'm lucky enough, of course, Google does not recognize it straight away. So I will need to wait a little bit. But if uh, Google is nice enough and reading properly my script, I may see in the future for my given page, this given rating. Once more, uh, the technique that I'm showing you today is not the best of all, right? That's mostly if uh, you do not have any access to the source code of the page, but you can use a tag manager in order to uh, deploy um, a script that may be a technique that uh, you will go for. But in most of the cases, what you will go for is uh, really like including the micro data directly onto the page like this in order to ensure that actually the data will stay consistent, that it's full text that Google can read or any user search engine, and that it, and let's say it increased the chances for you to see the reviews within the search engine listing. Once more, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you would like to practice a little bit with this specific technique that I show you, feel free to create your own JSON LD based on schema.org website example, then modify a couple of lines of code, and then uh, use any uh, test validator online. And once it's good, feel free to uh, deploy it with Matomo Tag Manager and wait probably a couple of weeks in order to see if uh, the search engine bots are clearly uh, watching your pages and if they are taking it into consideration. Thanks for watching.